Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing. And we are coming off an amazing seventh place finish in a showcase event, no less, at Stone Ridge. So now we move forward to Five Forks and this should be uh, a very interesting race because Five Forks is a huge track compared to some of them that we've been on uh, recently, three eighths of a mile. It says medium banking, which I guess is about right there, but uh, it is extremely wide and a fairly large track for cars of this size. Now, as far as our car performance, we're looking really good. Our tires remain in excellent condition as well as the chassis and suspension, but we need to do a little bit of work on the engine. So let's come in and first things first, we're gonna come down to the tires because I'm very interested uh, to see what's gonna happen with the tires. So let's go under, swap out a part and Let's see, do we have the ability to repair? We can't repair in this screen. So I'm gonna to have to go in, no, we're not ready to repair those tires just yet. So it's not gonna let me repair unless I am missing something. Nope, can't do it under the buy a new part screen. So if we go into swap out, I can sell the part, but I cannot repair it unless it's installed. All right, so let's just try that. Let's try to install this thing first. Now let's see if we can repair it. Because remember, we were gonna get about $1,000 for selling these. I wanna pay that $279 to repair it and see if we get any more money when we sell it. Could be that we're just gonna waste $279, but I'm willing to take that chance. So let's go ahead and repair these. All right, now we're gonna go under swap out a part and install Okay, now we come back in and let's see what we get when we sell. Uh, there we go, it was worth it. So now we're up to 2,820, so better than double. In fact, almost triple if memory serves me correctly. So yes, we definitely wanna sell those. It is definitely worth it to repair those parts before you sell them. That's what I was hoping for, but you just never know uh, how the game has these things factored in. All right, so now everything is in good shape. Let's go ahead and make uh, the repairs on everything else. Spend just a little bit of money here, but keep everything operating fully. And then finally, we want to repair the tires. Everything is completely full on durability. And we're still sitting at $9,932. And to give you an idea of where we need to be before our next upgrade, which will be the engine, if we come in under buy a new part, to get to the two-star engine, we need basically $25,000. But I'm hoping if we go under the schedule, I'm hoping that we can earn enough money between now and the very last race of the season, including the very last race of the season with that huge purse of over $30,000 that we can start season number two with a two-star engine. That would be my hope, and then that will take us in our next step in our career and move us up the ladder even more. So things right now are working quite well. It's time to head to Five Forks. Practice and qualifying in the books, and the goal time of 13.03, once again, was not really that much of an issue. We came in at 1267 in a couple of laps of practice and really all practice for the most part is for me is trying to dial in which gear I want to use for the most part I can use the same setup or very close to it from track to track uh, and then qualifying uh, basically the same as as practice 1275 overall that's going to put us in heat number four and we qualified 20th overall so not quite as good as we did at Stone Ridge uh, but overall it's going to be fun to see if we can make it to the A main. All right, so top five is where we want to be. Uh, we are starting fifth, so that's a good thing. Let's see what we've got. So here at the start, uh, actually these guys didn't pull me very much at all on the start, so we're going to see if we can keep up with them. All right, let's see where these guys go in the corners. All right, I thought there was somebody down there below me. And it turns out there was. Only two more to go, folks. 
Yep, he's down there again. So on one hand, I need to finish ahead of this guy so I can't just let him by. But I also do not want to cause a big wreck either. Oh wow, we got into each other there. All right, we're going to try to take his lane away, come into the to the checker. That's right, we got fifth. So, woo, a lot of defensive driving there, trying to maintain our position, but it worked. We're going to the A main. All right, this is going to be a lot of fun. Of course, we're starting very close to the back of the field. All right, let's see how this thing spreads out. Got somebody underneath us. So I'm going to try to give them some room. Ooh, had to use a little break there as there was a bit of a backup going through that corner. And anytime we have to use the brake, we simply don't have the horsepower to just simply power our way through that. So hurts our momentum, but we're going to try to get that back. You can see these guys are definitely a good bit faster than us right now. So I'm basically just going to try to give them a little bit of room and see nobody's going to the top of the track. Which is what I really need them to do if we're going to have a chance here. Because if they stick to the bottom, the shortest way around, uh, that's really only the only thing that we could possibly do to stay with them. And right now, that is not working. As there is a steady, steady group of people underneath us. And now we're starting to be our first time around getting lapped. And that took a grand total of six laps into the race for that to happen. Again, just showing you the disparity in speed between a car like ours in performance versus one of the front running cars. This is a very, very fun track. Of course, up until now, the only experiment uh, that I've done with this track would be in the 410s, which are a blast to run at this track. Again, just sticking to what would be considered the upper groove here, which is more sort of in the middle of the track, because there is a steady stream of guys coming underneath me. We're in last place right now, which is not really a whole lot I can do about that. You can see 24th right there in front of us. All right, we can get down to the bottom a little bit right here for maybe a lap or two. There's another guy coming, so we're going to get out of his way. I love the look of the groove uh, as soon as the race starts. Now, this game doesn't have uh, a live groove. So the groove is not moving around. It's not getting slicker, you know, all those types of things that you might be thinking about. Uh, this game does not have that, but at least we do have some sort of visual representation of a groove. I'll take that. Um, even though it's not quite the same as what we would prefer to have, with a live track and the conditions changing. All right, so we'll come home in last place in the A main, but once again, this is a bigger track where our lack of engine power really, really shows itself the most on this type of track, but we made it to the A main. So that is job number one for us. If we can consistently make that A main, then we're in great shape. That's gonna get us to our sponsor goals, get us more money and get us some upgrades. All right, so there you see it, $1,705 for our 25th place finish. Again, you can see the huge difference uh, in, in the payouts for these different types of race. So the payout, I believe, was $4,000 for the race purse here. We come home with $1,700 plus our $910 from our uh, sponsor payout and then $4 in merch sold, which I believe is a full dollar less than what we got at Stone Ridge. So... Uh, we're now in the four to five dollar range there, but again, that's going to be a fun one to watch. As it, if any, if this is anything like the NASCAR Heat Series in career, that will increase exponentially until it will become a huge portion of our actual race purse 
from week to week. So a total of $2,619. Now let's move on and see what kind of uh, car condition we're going to get. All right, we've been given credit for smooth driving. So you can see we did not lose any performance. A little bit of durability there uh, that we'll want to repair just to keep things topped off. But it's always nice when you don't lose any performance and get credit for that smooth driving. So our sponsor goal of three top 25s within four races, well, two races in, two top 25s. So we're well on our way to getting that money. And I believe it's about $900 or so uh, for the sponsor bonus there. At $2,700 for our money, that gives us a total of $12,669. Added six more fans for a total of 105. So we finally made it to 100 fans. So everything is going according to plan. Only a few more races left in this first season. And of course, the big one is the finale. That's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned for more career mode gameplay of Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing.